we're ready and we'll start with an opening statement. Uh, just excited for um, the opportunity to get back on the road this weekend. I think it's been a really good week for us as far as some rest and recovery, um, but certainly as good as that is, um, we also want to continue to play. So it's been finding that happy medium with keeping things competitive, yet also being really smart with um, our rest and our recovery. We took off our regular Monday and then took off Thursday and um, had just been really pleased with our progress this week. Coach, Carly Weathers hasn't shot the ball particularly well in conference play. Just what are you seeing from her in terms of her shooting, or is it just a matter of her hitting that freshman wall? Well, I think it's the SEC. You know, I think um, obviously in this league, it's uh, you know there's a lot of length. Um, I feel like she's gonna she, she continues to shoot the ball really well and get in the gym. Um, she'll be just fine. So it's uh, a lot of times what people don't understand that freshman year. She does, but the people that from the outside looking in, like. When you go from non-conference to conference, it's a whole nother level. And you have that shorter window, a lot of length. Um, so, you know, I'm so pleased with who she is and what she's about, and no doubt she's gonna make some looks for us here down the stretch. Um, I think it technically happened on Sunday, but you guys are now in the back half of the SEC schedule. Kind of, what are, this is for anyone, by the way, but what are you kind of you looking for from the team in, Obviously, all the goals still seem to be in reach, but what are you kind of looking for in the back half? Um, well, obviously, you know, the next game, Missouri, that's all that matters. But, you know, we're on the road four out of seven. Um, it's really important that, um, you know, we focus on how can we be better today than we were yesterday. We just want to get a little bit better every single day. And, um, you know, February's, um, we understand are what make March. And um, we're really, really pleased that we're, we have the opportunity to uh, – you know, finish with everything in front of us. We just, like everybody in the league, everybody in every league, if you read or see, watch any pre opportunity, opportunity, that word comes up consistently. We have a great opportunity. So I don't mean to sound like every other coach in the country, but when you head into February, it's about opportunity in front of us. Um, to have five wins, to have the road wins, to have the resume, to have the net of 23, um, we are right where we want to be. We just have to, again, seize the opportunity in February. Um, coach, heading into February, heading into the last home stretch of the season, of the home stretch of the season, how important is it to not only stay physically locked in, but mentally locked in to what your goals are heading into March? Well, I think we have such great leadership and a group of players, um, you know, especially in these two next to me, um, that understand what this time of year is about, understand the experience level that they bring from being fifth year players. So not only, um, you know, we talk and teach, um, but again, our whole focus this week is just Missouri um, and what we can control and how we need to improve from game one. We're two totally different teams. And we've got a whole month in the SEC under both of our belts. And um, what did we learn from the first go around? And then what did we learn from our other games in January that can help us again go on the road and be successful in a really cold, hostile environment? This one's for the players. Obviously, this is the second time you're playing Missouri this year after the first game, you know, ended the way it ended. What is it like to finally get that chance to, you know, redeem that early early conference loss? Uh, I would say we didn't, you know, get the results that we wanted. But um, like Coach said, it's a new opportunity, a chance to get to play them again on the road. So we just have to take it to them and be ready to compete from the beginning to the end. Right. Yeah. 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 But I think you're three games back from your injury. Just how is everyone? How is everything feeling with that as you return? Uh, it's going good. My teammates have been here, you know, every step of the way, and coaches. So um, it's coming along. Coach, what are some of the changes that you want your team to make in the second game against Missouri after having already seen them in the Coliseum earlier in the year? I think one of the most glaring weaknesses um, that was it was a weakness. Um, one of the most glaring things that we did not. Accomplish that is going to, you know, we didn't finish shots. We missed a lot of shots at the rim. Um, we have to do a better job defensively. You know, I think you have to understand against Missouri, you got to defend from the outside in. Um, but the outside is very important defending the three. I think they hit, um, they got back on track last night. They shot the ball really well against Vanderbilt. Um, but just the inside and making sure that we don't give up looks at the rim. Um, and that happened a lot in transition. So we continue to improve and work on our transition D. 
So it's defending them from the outside, yes, but also from the inside. So we've got to do a better job of finishing shots at the rim and limiting their opportunities at the rim when it starts in transition. Hey, um, you talked a lot over the last two press conferences about how this is a tournament team and the resume. Um, with you guys being a lot of projections have you guys around the eight seed. So obviously you're a little off the bubble, so it's a little more comfortable, I guess, this year. Is it, is it a little more comfortable knowing that most projections have you squarely inside, even though obviously this, you know, as you say, multiple times there's still work to do? Um, I don't, you know, I, I'm going to say we're a tournament team. That's what any coach in the country would say. Um, but we also understand to be a tournament team that we have left work, we have work that is left undone. And so we take nothing for granted. We're the underdog. We've always been not supposed to, and we do it. So it's more about not what anybody else says or thinks. Um, I'm never going to sit here and tell one of my teams we're not a tournament team headed into February. Everybody in this league is saying the exact same thing, including Missouri, including everyone, no matter where they're at right now. If you have a big February, get in the tournament. So. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really read. I'm going to be real honest with you. I look at our net, and I look at the SEC and what games are upcoming because I'm scouting. But I don't really go read all the other – I don't even handle my social media anymore. So if y'all think I'm liking and tweeting stuff, it's not me. So at the end of the day, my focus is just my team, our scouting, our recruiting, all the things, our marketing that go into me being a really good head coach every day, not what all the other stuff is being said. We just want to win today. We want to go on the road and win at Missouri, and we understand. You don't want to look at too much at the big picture and listen to all that because something can happen real quickly. Have a major injury. Um, you're going to play a really good team, so we just got to take care of our business. You guys held Haley Franks only nine points in the first time you played her. She's been on a real big stretch the last four games. What, does it go, what will it take to continue to make sure you guys guard her well and just make sure that keep, keep Missouri at bay on offense? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's Frank and Hanson, you know. Um, they do an unbelievable job. Um, they're both very dynamic. They can score both the inside and out. Um, and it's what hurt us at home, too, is understanding, you know, Troop and Smith and Gilbert and Dimbali, like all those kids are really good. Judd hit a couple of big shots. So it's not just focusing on one or two. I think that's the mark of a good SEC team is you have to focus on how do you defend them um, from the top throughout, you know. So it, it's, it's going to be a chore up there. We know they shoot the ball better at home. We understand. I think a lot of people don't understand Missouri's schedule, and I do. You know, they've also played South Carolina, LSU, and Tennessee. Um, guys, that's a big deal, you know. So I, I think that you have to understand who Missouri's played. And, and maybe, you know, we, we struggled through those, those three as well. So it's uh, sometimes you have to talk about and understand that too, that they've had a really strong January schedule. So perception's not reality on, on some of that sometime. It's based off who you've played. You know, you get some teams in our league and they still have those three to, or two more of those to accomplish. So. You know, it's an interesting dynamic sometimes when you look at the who has played who, who has not played who, the dynamics with that. So, uh, believe us, Missouri has our utmost respect. Coach, there's several road games coming up, and I was about a month away from conference tournament time. How important is it to maintain a routine, even when you're not at home, even though obviously it can be more difficult when you're not at home? Yeah, I mean, it can be more difficult when you're not at home, but I love the schedule that we put in place in the preseason, um, you know, because I think it's paying off as far as you look at the net right now, but it's also paying off in our routine on travel, you know, to win at Ole Miss without two leading scores, to go win at Arkansas, to do the things we've done on the road and at home, we felt like our schedule in the preseason kind of prepared us. So we've stayed in a regular routine. They'll tell you we do the exact same things a lot of the time and um, enjoy this group really truly our travel party really enjoys each other and I think that you you kind of see that on the floor um, I guess just the weekly question do you have an update on Megan Abrams um, she's coming along she's coming along so I uh, don't have an update on when she'll be back but we're making progress and so we're excited for her and for our team and you know, when you lose your second leading score, um, lose your first and second leading score,
kind of affects you a little bit. Meg, what Meg brings is much more than just a numbers. It's just an experience, you know. And so, been so pleased with everybody that stepped up and got some experience. But we'll be thankful if she is able to return. When that is, I'm waiting to hear and see. It's like y'all are. All right. Thank you, guys. Y'all have a good day. Roll tide. A good